Eamon, this has been a tragedy in many respects. Never before has a story quite so gripped the nation. Can you tell us, in your own words, the sequence of events that has led up to the RTE sending you home? Uh, well, uh, Tommy, uh, two weeks ago I arrived out at the studio and found that the facilities were amateurish. Uh, the, the seats were too hard, uh, the uh, mics were the wrong colour, and at that table in, in the studio, uh, it's the size of a small car park. It's ridiculous. Okay, so justifiable complaints. What happened next? Uh, well, uh, I uh, went in on the uh, Sunday morning to uh, the show. I was really looking forward to it. I was in high spirits. I was happy, very happy. Uh, and I went in and who did I see but some bloke who looked like uh, Peter Collins. But that in fact was Peter Collins. I, uh, was it? None of the other panellists, including Peter Collins, saw reason to complain. I uh, know, well maybe they were uh, looking after their own reputations. But did you not feel, Eamon, that by going out the night before and getting completely tired and emotional, that you left the RTE with no option but to send you home? You said, for example, that you found out about your suspension uh, by means of a private letter sent to your home, couriered yes. by the RTE. So it was yeah. quite tastefully and delicately done. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, it was uh, done uh, in uh, private. Uh, it should have been done in public, uh, in the full glare of the media spotlight, uh, where I am at my most comfortable. Uh, I saw it as a compromise to my integrity as a human being. Okay, but let's just concentrate on the sequence of events the night before. You went out to Lily's Bordellos yes. to have a good night. Yes. Other panellists were with you. Yes. Ray Houghton was there. Yeah, you know, if, if they want to go out for a drink and a laugh, uh, you know, then, then good luck to them. I, I've nothing against that. The lads need to let off steam. You know, I enjoy a tired and emotional as much as anyone. But if you were tired and emotional, wouldn't it have made more sense to have gone home to take a nap? Yeah, they should have given me a nap two weeks ago. Two, two weeks ago, but, but I didn't. But wouldn't it have made it, wouldn't it have made more sense for not rather than you going home listening to Bob Dylan records, wouldn't it have made sense for you to go straight to the RTE? I mean, what sort of message is that sending out to the RTE? Yes, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with the points uh, that you're making. I, I, I'm agreeing with the points that, that you're making. But you weren't in that room. Tommy, I'll tell you, the buzz off that Beatles, the White Album, is fantastic. Okay, okay. But if an agreement could be reached, if a deal could be brokered, if you thought that they'd be willing to take you back, uh, do you... Take, take me back? What, what, what do you mean, take me back? I, I keep these guys in the job. If it wasn't for me, these Uncle Toms it would be on the doll. You know? But what about all the people of Ireland? The poor people, the kids, the ole layers with the plastic hammers, who worship you, who love you, who, the people who are amused by your self-perpetuating egotism, would you not go back for them? I, I want to analyse for, for my country. Nobody wants to analyse for the country more than me. I want to analyse for our team. It's hurting you, this, isn't it? Yes. Damn right it is. Mind you, I did uh, back myself at uh, three to one Paddy Power bookmakers uh, not to make it through to the second round. <laughs> oh, that. 